Okay guys, today we are going to go over just briefly how to publish an app to the App Store. It's something that I attempted just a uh, few days ago, about a week ago, and um, my app got denied the first time, uh, but I'm going to keep working on it, try again, maybe dispute it. <clears throat> Anyways, I was able to get through the entire process up to getting my app reviewed and I thought I'd make a quick tutorial or a video on how to do that. So first step is to kind of go to the Flutter docs and go to prepare an iOS app for release. Um, you need to set up an iTunes Connect account. You need to enter in things like your email, pay $99 plus tax, um, and then you need to configure your app IDs and you need to get the bundle ID for your app and I can show you where to get that. The instructions tell you where to get that. So we were, I was working on the app Austin Feeds Me Flutter, so I'm gonna open up the runner app uh, in Xcode and we can reference the uh, page again um, to see how we could get our bundle ID. So it says in Xcode open up runner.xc workspace in your app's iOS folder. I just did that. To view your app settings, select the runner project in the Xcode project navigator. Then in the main side view sidebar, select the runner target and then the general tab. So I'm going to go over to here, which is a product browser pit or project browse pane or workspace. Select runner. And then over here, we can see our bundle identifier. So I made it com.whereisdarren.fluttersfeedme version 1.0 and build.3 I made it, the first build I made was 1 and then I needed to build another rev so I made it 2 this rev will be 3 I don't think I've uploaded a, a rev 3 yet um, so this should be good to go for us but if you whatever your current build is at you'll need to increment it each time you upload a new version to the app store okay so let's go back to the tutorial, our display name. We can see the display name is Flutter Feeds Me. If we go back to the automatically managed signing, I chose to do this. Um, I added an account and I set it to automatically do signing. You can see it's here. My team is Darren Kalinske. I just made a developer account. And you can see this, the developer signing certificate there one of my old emails and the rest of the things I left kind of um, default you do need to add an app icon and I'll explain one of the apps I use to generate the app icons once we start building so the next stage is to kind of build the archive that you're going to upload to the app store and you can do that you do that from the command line so I don't have flutter in my path right now so I'm going to do I'm going to execute the flutter command from my project directory and I'm going to go flutter build iOS and that's going to build the necessary components hopefully if my app, it, my app project's in a good state um, that which will then be in a place where the Xcode project or the Xcode workspace can grab that output and bundle it into something that the app store is expecting. So right now we can see it's running pod install, basically getting all the dependencies that we specified for our project. It's going and getting those versions, and now it's building Xcode. This will take about a minute. So while this is building, I wanted to show you a couple resources. Um, I went to Android Dev out of uh, uh, just um, habit, but I wanted to show you Flutter Dev and uh, it's a subreddit it's pretty active it'll go through kind of like what the various things are going that are going on in the flutter community and then i wanted to show you uh just down here this discord chat um there's a flutter discord it's much like slack in which you can go in and ask talk to other people about flutter ask questions if you have any uh, there's a few channels uh, on various topics and um, 
it's a good it's been a good, very good resource for me and I just wanted to recommend it for anyone that's inter interested in Flutter okay so our app is still building Um, the other resource which you all probably know is Stack Overflow. There's a Flutter tag if you want to filter your questions by Flutter. So we could do Flutter and then build iOS. If we had questions about building iOS and we wanted to limit those to Flutter questions, we could keep this tag. So let's go back to the instructions and see what the next step is. So it says run Flutter build iOS to create a release build. Flutter build defaults to dash dash release. To ensure the Xcode refreshes the release mode configuration, close and reopen your Xcode workspace. So I'm going to go to my Xcode workspace and I'm going to close it. And then when it's complete, I'm going to open it. So it just completed. It took about, I guess, <coughs> 140 seconds, 130 seconds, somewhere around there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to Xcode, open up my Xcode workspace. And then what's the next step? So then the next step is to select is to select product scheme runner. So let's do that. Product scheme. It's already selected because I recently built built a. Uh, the last thing I did was build a. Uh, the scheme runner and then it wants to select a product destination the generic iOS device so let's do that product destination generic iOS device we can see it's selected up here <clears throat> and what's our next step select runner update the version update the build identifier to unique build number so we we looked at those earlier at the beginning and it says select product archive to produce a build archive. So that's going to take what we just created in Android Studio and create a build archive, which then can be uploaded to the App Store. So we did product archive, and it's going to go off, and it's going to start. We're going to start seeing this log go crazy with all the different build steps that are occurring. Um, and while it's doing that, I wanted to show you an app related to generating icons. So we can see if we go to our runner project, <clears throat> our runner directory, our app icon is this pizza icon. The default icon is the Flutter icon. And uh, I used an app, all these different sizes of icons, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, but I used an app that was free on the App Store called Icon Set Creator. And all you have to do to use it is drag a 1024 by 1024 asset to this and then just do go. And then select where you want it saved. And it will generate all of the icons that you need for your app. And then what you could do is you could delete this app icon and then go import and then you could select that directory I think this is it maybe and it would import it as app icon. So I'm not going to do that because we're in the middle of a build. I think it was new image set is what I do. But anyways, the uh, instructions are probably, let's see if the app icon creator has instructions. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So that's okay. If you really need an icon generator, you can look around and the steps are, are there, but uh, online. But I use that tool, it's called app icon creator, something like that. Let's see. App icon, icon set creator. Like I said, it's available on iTunes, and it's a, it's a great tool. Here we go. It's right here. Icon set creator. You can get it from the App Store, and you're good to go.
this will probably take a little bit longer. Let's see if there are any next steps on our instructions. So after the arc, so click the validate button. If any issues are reported, address them or reduce another build. You can reuse the same build ID until you upload an archive. After the archive has been successfully validated, click upload to app store. You can follow the status of your build in the activities tab of your apps details page on iTunes Connect. So hopefully this finishes soon. It talks about releasing your app on test flight. Test flight is similar to uh, the alpha and beta tracks that are in Google Play or Crashlytics beta. You basically upload a uh, or assign a test build to test flight, and then you can invite people by email. Send them an email; they can accept it uh, to be part of uh, the beta test, and it will download like test the test flight app, I think something like that and then they can enter in a code and now they're part of the test. Um, so let's go back to Xcode, see how far we are along. Looks like we're getting close. Let me go over here to the App Store Connect. You can see my app was rejected. And it was rejected for, um, I guess, being too simple. They said that it could have been a web page. Now, I mean, theoretically, a lot of apps could be a web page uh, that are on the store. You know, Google Maps could be a web page. Uh, but uh, I'm sure they, they've got some criteria that uh, I don't um, understand or I'm not privy, of, privy to. Okay, yeah, this brings up another point. You'll need to generate screenshots of your app in various sizes. And the way that I did that, and I would do it again the next time, was I, I deployed a version of the app to the simulator. And if we open up a simulator here, there's a new screenshot, and it will generate a screenshot. So I, I opened up an I, iPad simulator, an iPhone X simulator, and I think this was an iPhone 6S, the 5.5 display. And I took screenshots on all of the um, devices. I would remove this debug banner the next time I did it. Um, and then I uploaded them to the store, and that's how I got the screenshots. I did have to resize, I believe, a couple of them. And I did that using a tool called Inkscape. All right, we'll st we're still going over here, still compiling. I've been getting into this e-commerce app using Flutter Guide. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, they're using a backend called WooCommerce, which is basically an e-commerce platform powered by WordPress. I think it's owned by Automatic, which is a WordPress company now. But um, I'm going to use that. I like to use it as a basis to make like kind of a generic e-commerce app with maybe Firebase as a backend. Uh, but we'll see. See how long this is going to take. Yeah, we're kind of pegged right now. I will tell you, building an archive for iOS seems to take considerably longer than building an archive for Android. It could, I don't, I haven't timed it exactly, but it just feels longer. I think we're getting close. Okay, build succeeded. So we can see we've got our version up here. The instructions told us to validate. I guess we can validate 
Let's see how that works out. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's validate it. All right. Validation successful. Now let's upload to the App Store. Okay, this looks very familiar. Alright, here we go, here we go. Upload. And if everything works correctly, we should see a new version of our app, excuse me, available in the App Store to submit for review. So let's give this a few more moments and we'll validate that. See what's going on in Discord. I closed it. All right, upload successful. Okay, so that's good. I think you had a link to go to iTunes Connect, but we'll go over here. See what we can find. Actually, I think it's under this version. So, app information. I'm trying to find just the latest version that we've published here. Maybe it's under activity. So okay, so it's processing our latest version. It got uploaded and it's being processed by the App Store. And then what we could do is we could uh, submit it for review. Um, basically, uh, there tends to be like a button that's like save here. And then you can do submit. I can't remember exactly where it's at, but those are the key steps for preparing a build for iOS to upload to the App Store and um, submitting it to the App Store. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And if there's anything that you'd like me to go over or talk about in a future video, leave that in the comments too. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. Bye.